When our immune system first encounters an antigen, there is a five to seven day lag period. During this time, an APC, or an antigen presenting cell, performs antigen processing, and this leads to the clonal selection process. It's during this process that B cell differentiation and proliferation take place. After those five to seven days go by, IgM antibody can be detected in the circulation. The B cells initially just produce IgM, but then perform class switching to IgG. With the secondary immune response, the immune system is exposed to the same antigen but this time it reacts more strongly and quickly. During the primary immune response, memory cells were developed to this antigen. So this enables the immune system to react a lot more quickly. As far as antibodies, IgM is produced here again, but only briefly. IgG production is increased and it's the predominant antibody in this response.